Hi, this will be a tutorial on how to solve the gear pyramids. This puzzle was designed by uh, Timur Batirov and factory made by Mephors. You can see the links in the description. It's a combination of two uh, well-known puzzles, the gear cube from Oscar van der Benter and the standard pyramids. This one we're going to keep it in the background since we're going to be using it to demonstrate aspects of our solution. Uh, this particular puzzle, in my case, has a centered a sticker. Yours might not have them. Uh, the solution is basically the same. The stickers are helpful in some part of it, but they require one extra step, a step at the end, which we will see later. Uh, this puzzle has three possible movements. The standard one, one corner turning until the center is aligned again. The three corner move, in which you have turned one corner and then you can turn all three remaining corners at the same time. And recover it again. And the full puzzle move, in which taking two opposite edges, you move the whole puzzle. These last two moves are not needed for the resolution. Uh, they simply flip edges. We can use them in the scrambling, we can use them to speed up our resolution, but we don't need to. Uh, the first three corner move uh, flips these three edges. The second one flips all six edges. Applying them both, we see three edges flipped here. So, let's scramble our puzzle with the standard move. As you can see, this one does affect shape. Okay, I'll skip this for you. Okay, this should be enough of a scramble. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to recover our corner position. Basically, we're going to find, to look for pairs in which this internal piece and this corner are aligned. Okay, if you have the stickers, you can guide yourself by the stickers. This will be aligned when this sticker is blue. Let's watch it. Okay, you can see it now. Main issue is this sticker. This doesn't necessarily have to be blue. Probably we won't be as lucky in this case. No, we were. Never mind, let's turn it again a bit. Okay, the alignment could have to be in place with an uh, orange sticker, in this case. We'll last do the same with our last corner. That's it, and now we have all our corners into position, and you can see the edges are not. Okay, so let's start working with the edges. Uh, for your first solves, I would recommend getting this same color here, so you can easily identify the edges. And you're going to need it if you don't have the inner stickers because you can't guide yourself by this. But anyway, just to get a correct sticker here, it's simply a matter of turning the puzzle until you get it. That's it. Okay, fairly straightforward. Let's do the same here. Okay, um, that's it. Corners placed. Now, next is to place edges in their correct position, which is automatically going to recover the tetrahedral shape of the puzzle. Okay, let's do one side. Let's start, for example, with the uh, yellow side. So you can see, judging from corners or from internal stickers, this one should be blue, yellow. Blue, yellow is here. So we're going to bring it down, 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 up, and up. And our corner is in place, and as you can see, it's correct. Well, I guess you noticed already, but this algorithm was simply taken from. Uh, 
normal premise to get this edge here for example just do r sorry r prime l r l prime and you have it here without affecting your corners and now back to our gear pyramids we're going to be placing the rest of the edges let's finish off with the yellow side um, we have this one here let's bring it first to this side and now we can bring it to its correct place so you see some cuts in the video but uh, my camera is limited to uh, recording 30 seconds each time so we bring it down here down up up and there we go we have two edges placed we're missing the last one which is here so we do L R prime L prime R nothing too complex we have our three edges correctly placed this one is flipped we'll correct it later and now okay we were very lucky uh, these edges are already in place this is normally not the case so uh, let me prepare a different case for you I just did uh, this is a normal case a more normal case for the last corner I normally recommend that you would solve it this way uh, edges on one face and then you're left with the three edges uh, corresponding to one corner and in this case they are not in place as you can see but you can put them in place just with one turn okay edges are in place but your corner is not and how can we solve this actually if you can see this corner should turn clockwise here now again we're going to take our pyramids to illustrate this point uh, we're going to need to rotate our corner clockwise and how do we do it in the pyramids well very simple R U R prime U R U R prime U and that's it puzzle is correct except for one twisted corner so uh, let's do the same here okay in this case we will guide ourselves with the stickers we just need to turn it clockwise if you don't have the stickers just choose uh, clockwise or anti-clock or uh, counterclockwise you might simply have to do it twice okay so let's do it R U R prime U R R prime U and that's it shape is recovered every edge is in it correct in its correct place okay so now we need to flip the edges okay there are two orientations of the edges one is the let's call it big edge orientation and the smaller sticker orientation let's first fix the big one as you can see we have this one this one and this three edges incorrectly oriented in order to change orientation you just need to move one corner to do a full turn and this will actually change the orientation of the three edges so let's illustrate this we have two edges here one edge here this will correct this one will get wrong if we simply do a full turn of one corner until we have the correct sticker here or simply this corner line these two are now correct this one is incorrect okay illustrated a farther point let's turn this corner which has two incorrect flip incorrectly flipped edges and as you can see 
we can get to a situation in which in another puzzle we would consider a parity let's correct the corner so you can see it better just one edge flip ok, there's not a problem in this puzzle very simple way to solve it first we convert it into two by twisting this corner for example until we have orange here again or this is line if you don't have the stickers two, and now we need the third one so we choose any of them and we convert this one again into three we have three incorrectly uh, incorrectly flipped edges you can see them by comparing the inner stickers if you want you can always correct the corners in order to see it better we're going to correct it in this case we just need to have yellow here and this edge is the same as they are just turn it until you get them ok, there we go and let's correct also this corner again you rather do it in the position that is marked by these stickers clockwise in this case ok ok, so we corrected our corners and now you can clearly see that we have three edges split which are these three ok to correct them is very simple, just bring the isolated one with the others like so and do one full turn this one corrected this one is also corrected ok, so our full puzzle is done which is the two correct this corner again, uh, when you correct the corners if you move them in the same direction that is marked by uh, by the stickers you will not flip the edges because you actually have to uh, to go twice through uh, this sticker position if you do it in the reverse way you will flip the edges see, like this first time you will get green in the internal stickers you also get green here but it's flipped if you do it the other way first time you get green back here or corners aligned if you don't have the stickers uh, you don't get green here second time you do so you flipped your edges twice so you left them in the same position ok so if you don't have the stickers your gear premix is solved if you do have them, we have to do one extra step this extra step we're going to need our friend the pyraminx again okay. this is basically to flip those edges although this one is correctly oriented, as you can see the inner part of the edge is not green should be here, blue should be here and this one is also flipped okay let's see what is causing this ok in your pyramids if you uh, do the following bring the edges here and then place them in the correct place again but doing the algorithm on a different side you will get two edges flipped which is actually what we got here thing is in the uh, gear pyramids we don't see the flipping in the big part but in the inner stickers so in order to correct it we match a net swap one down up up turn on pyramids and place them again in the correct position from the other side that's it in our pyramids and let's do the same here bring down down up and we turn on pyramix and again down down up 
looking good. Up. And this time it's fully done. You have sold your gear permix. So that's it. Any requests, you can uh, put them in the uh, video comments. Thanks for watching.